So I have covered quite a few SVA 545 builds here on the channel. I've done one that turned it into like an AK-74U SMG. I've made one for virtually no recoil. I've made one where I maximized the damage range. I've made a best of all worlds kind of build. This one I wanted to make an aggressive style build, but also keep the AR tendency. So it's kind of like an AR and an SMG mixed together into one. We got a fast aim down sight speed, pretty good movement speeds. And overall, it's a great attack or a great list of attachments that you guys need to copy down. Starting us off here with the main V6 stock for recoil control and gun kick control. This is going to give us 21% of the gun kick and 9% of the horizontal and vertical recoil control at no sacrifice there to our aim down sight speed. So we're not slowing that category down. For the rear grip, I have the Citadel grip. This is going to give you gun kick control, aiming down sight speed and recoil control. This is the perfect attachment for this style of build because not only only are we gaining that 10% of the gun kick, 7% of the vertical and horizontal recoil control, but also an extra 9% tacked on there to the aim down sight speed. Over here to an underbarrel, we have the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. That's going to give you sprint to fire speed. We're already making up for what was lost with the stock, aim down sight speed, and then even more recoil control. The big one here is going to be that ADS and sprint to fire speed, but we are gaining 4% of the gun kick. 5% to the vertical recoil control, then that 9% to the aim down sight speed and 8% to the sprint to fire speed. For a muzzle, I'm going with the Zem compensated flash hider. I did want to control some of that visual recoil since I'm not going with any fire aiming stability attachments. This is where the Zem compensator is going to come in. It gives us some more recoil control, but of course, and more importantly, is that fire aiming stability. It's going to keep the weapon much more steady. In our final attachment here, which is going to turn it into that aggressive style of assault rifle slash SMG is is the SVA-5 short barrel. It's gonna give you aim walking speed, aim walking steadiness, and overall movement speed. So I'm gonna just hide my screen here so you can see what we're gaining. You can see we are gaining movement at 4%, crouch movement speed at 8%, and then ADS movement speed, AKA strafe speeds, at 10 percent so it's just going to increase your overall aggression i'm going to consider this something like a small map or medium map kind of build not one you want to bring to a massive map like invasion or afghan but a map or a weapon you want to bring to a map like meat or rio those maps are going to benefit this weapon really well because of the overall movement and the fast aim down sight speed but it still has that potential to take those medium range fights that suits those kind of maps so definitely aim for those kind of maps when trying this thing out as always there's the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys needed to copy that down make sure you guys are hitting that like and subscribe button for me we're going to jump into a gameplay to feature the aggressive sva 545 hope you guys enjoy so i already made like an smg ak-74u style uh, SVA 545. What I did with this one is I kind of like combined the two. I took a increase the aim down sight speed, made it fast paced, but also at the same time kept some assault rifle like tendencies. So think of it like an optimized kind of build. Good for all situations is I guess the best way to explain that. You guys could see how aggressive this thing is. Oh, what you can real? Whoa, that guy just took off. I want to stay as aggressive as possible, but at the same time, I don't have bullets. We're going to hold off for a second and then we're going to push. Okay, so I don't know where the guy is in the hill. Okay, there's one and a chopper. I'm gonna have to assume they're over here. Yep. So with how this hill works, they're gonna spawn over here in junkyard. I need one kill here for the advanced. Oh. Wow. Okay. Not going that way again. No. Enemies inside the 
We're gonna go this way. Guy's upstairs there. I'm gonna try to sneak through. Let's do this. Pull me out, scare me. I'm going back up top. I messed up. I don't want to say I took the wrong approach, but I also messed up the approach. I'm on a 24. They're gonna spawn on me. As I stated. All right, teammates are at least running amok here, helping me out a lot. Ouch. That guy's hunting me. He's got a knife. I'm on a 29. All right, MGB. I don't want to leave this right now. While my swarm's out. I've talked about this before. If you die while the swarm is out, it actually really screws you because the swarm just kind of dies. I never understood it, but it's just how it works. They're spawning over there in the corner. Now they're in junkyard. Ooh. Soak up the kills. Okay. Swarm's done. And I run into two of them. <laughs> I just died to C4. Like I, I actually just died to C4. I can't believe that. I can truthfully say I've like never died to C4. I am spawn trapping this spoon guy. I feel bad about it. I'm so twisted, I'm shooting at teammates. Another swarm. Requesting 
That was a failed nade. Do your thing. I'm going to stay right here. Yep, I'm going to stay right here. He's not aiming at me. I guarantee you he's not aiming at me. Look at this. He's just spraying and praying. Well, they got off the hook with that one. Dang, this game's over. Requesting MTV. Dades are close approved. That stinks. This game could have gone on quite a bit longer. Well, that's it. Let's see if my swarm. Yep. Pick me up a couple extra kills there for 93. Not much editing required in this one. I mean, shit, I was flying around the map.